just had an amazing breakfast here hanging out with my cousins in Eugene. Hope you guys had an amazing breakfast too. Or if you're watching this in the afternoon, had an amazing lunch or dinner or whatever snacks you're eating. Hope it's amazing. Today we're back on the road. Let's go over some quick freaking updates. First off, we gotta get that power inverter installed, so I got power on my Jeep. Knock that bad boy out, install it like a mofo quick, and then I'll have power in my Jeep so I can continue on trucking. Second off, the search for a can opener continues. Remember I got that can opener at Goodwill? It was actually broken when I bought it. The search for a can opener continues. Third off. And the, on the first day that I had the longboard, my, my first longboard, <laughs> I met a guy with a drone. He lives down in Grants Pass, Oregon. He told me to hit him up when I get down that far. He said he'd show me some pretty cool places. Most likely tomorrow, we'll see where he's at, see what he's up to, see if he can't show us around, show us some cool places. So far, I think one of the most important things you can do when you're on the road is be kind to others. Engage in conversation with them. You know, be nice to people and maybe they'll show you some cool places. Or maybe they'll freaking save your life one day. You'll never know. It all starts with a hello. Either way, living on the road is all about the ride. Quite literally and quite figuratively. Well, it was a nice change of pace sleeping in the bed last night. But now it's back to the car in the Jeep. I say we get the power inverter installed and then we hit the road. Sounds like a plan, mate. Let's do it! Well, I got her installed. I was able to use the existing connections and wiring that I already had there. So honestly, it was just pull the other one out, plug the new one in. I mean, it was pretty easy. And moment of truth, the most important part, see if it actually works. Woo! Woo! And she actually works. All right, sweet. We're gonna have power in the Jeep tonight. I like it. Well, that was the last thing I needed to do. Quick and easy, Jeep's got power now. Since I'm at my cousin's house, I figured fill up my water container, do my laundry, get all that boring stuff out of the way. We got power, we got water, we got laundry done, we got all these things done. Crap. <laughs> stay. You stay for me. All right, whatever. So I'm about to leave. Cousins are awesome people, they've been great to me. Very cool. So, close that up. I think I have everything. If I don't have everything, I will be coming back north. That door looks so weird. Whoops. <laughs> I will be coming back north at some point, but we have like an hour and a half, uh, two hours of sunlight left. So I'm thinking we just drive for the rest of the time. I'm gonna try not to get out at all. So we actually make two hours of actual driving time. Plus I drive slow in my Jeep. I really do. Well, let's get on the road. See where we end up. Sound good, sound good? All right, let's do it. Normally I wait till I arrive 
somewhere to talk to you, but since I've been driving for like an hour and a half, I'm like, just talk to him. I hope your day's going well. I'm enjoying myself out on this ride. I hope you're enjoying the ride too. If there's a rest area right outside Grants Pass, I might stay in there tonight. Or, side of the road next to somewhere cool. Hey man, it's all good. It's all good to me. It's all good in my mood. Alright, let's keep driving. See where the road takes us. So I found a little spot off the side of the highway, about 15 miles north of Grants Pass. It's actually pretty warm tonight. Besides an undershirt, I just have this fleece on. It's like the warmest night so far living in the Jeep. It's a nice change of pace that I accept. I won't be freezing my butt cheeks tonight. All right, well, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.